thing's massive. This thing's a dragon, right? Yes, yeah, that's the one. Though. This is our cave dragon that's down here. So you can see his head just there coming down through the drink of water. It's really cool. A lot of water can come through in these areas of the cave. As opposed to, say, sections over here where there's no activity. So it's, that one's not as porous. It's much thicker rock. So these sections over here are quite porous. A lot of activity. Now, because this is a very active section of the cave, I'll point out how fast the straws grow. If you can see this one just over here, it's got a black mark on the end of it. Yeah. So that one there, flies coming in here. So that, that one there, for everyone that can't see it, that black mark, it's about two centimetres above the end of the straw. That was actually put there by a tour guide in the 1950s. So he held up a cigarette lighter to the end of one of these straws and just burnt the end of it. And so that little bit of growth underneath, about two centimetres is about 60 years growth. And this is, you've got to remember, this is a very, very active region of the cave, so this strips quite a lot. It's a fast growing region. And then you can think how long all these other regions of the cave would have taken to form, such as these big ones over here, hundreds of thousands of years, most likely.